All right, how's everybody out there doing? This is Pete over at SWRC, and uh, we have a buddy. His name's Rick over at Rick's Customs. He had a situation with his shop, am I right? And uh, he was in the process of buying it, and the owner of the property told him to go fuck himself and sold it out from under him. So we got uh, Rick's employee here. His name's David, Redneck Dave. Uh, where are you from, Dave? Right here. Okay, he's right here from Dallas, Texas, and that's his employee. We're going to get a little angle on him. We're going to go over to uh, one of the bays of my, my friend Pete's shop and see what's going on over there because I'm helping Rick out uh, until he finds another place to move. Uh, you know, he's taking up my fucking space. It's not fair to me, but it's fair to Rick so he doesn't go out of business because where would you guys fucking be working if you weren't over here at my friend Pete's? Be up in the unemployment line and the welfare lines collecting checks from the government and we don't want to see that Dave let's get with Dave the mechanic guy and see what the fuck's going on what they're working on and why are they taking all my fucking space up What's up, guy? Not much. Now, you know paint and body doesn't go together with fucking mechanic work, Dave. Hey, so kind of a way, we, actually, That's why we got the door closed over there. We exactly. Know, we don't want none of that grease flying over here, Dave. Okay? Exactly. So, so what are we doing over here? Let's go over to your side of the bay and see what the fuck's going on, Dave. All right, so, you know, this is uh, my friend Pete's shop. I mean, we still got the SWRT sign in here. And, and what's going on, Dave? No. What kind of work are you guys doing, Dave? Uh... Well, I mean, we pretty much do a little bit of everything. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. You throw it all together, it's a, a big batch of fucking Texas-style chili. Kind of sort yeah. of. Because <laughs> now you got a Jeep over here. You're working on a Jeep. What's going on over here, Dave? Doing front brakes. So we're doing the front brake job. And then uh, there was something else wrong with it, too. But uh, you got that fixed and everything's ready to roll, huh? Yeah, getting pretty close. Just uh, waiting on board. Now, let me ask you a question, Dave. You used to be a truck driver or what? Uh, tow truck driver. Tow truck driver. And you, you were driving a truck for a long time, but you never sent my friend Pete any business. Oh, well, I didn't know you were here. Yeah, you didn't send me no business, I but you know, that's a good know. excuse, bud. Because you knew I was up here, Dave. You knew I was here. Am I right? Not really, so to be now, honest. So not hold on really. a minute. Look what we got going here, dude. Now you got one of my bays completely stockpiled up with all kinds of shit that I don't fucking use, Dave. <laughs> huh? What's going on with that, Dave? Well, just trying to make a living. You know, luckily, my friend Pete's a nice guy. Yes, he is. You know what I'm saying? To keep you guys in business so you don't get fucking broken and, and down on your luck and, and homeless. You got me stacked hey, over here, we too. We really appreciate yeah, that. I, believe me, bud. Okay, I like having you here. Thank you. You're an all right fucking guy, Dave. You got grease on your hands. You want to shake yeah. my hand that nope. I do body work with? My bad. Uh, let me see your hands. Exactly, dude. This is clean. Okay, why would I shake your hand, Dave? Because you don't want to get shake grease hand, on I body shake, work. I shake your hand and I make a friend, but right now I'm in the middle of working on a, a, a 64 Buick. Now, what kind of truck you got, Dave? Personal truck? Yeah. Well, so actually, you, I have, you have two a hot rod one. truck or something going on. Yeah, I got an 87 Chevy pickup. Okay, now, was that a redneck style hot rod or what? What yes and no. Right, 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 <laughs> right. Tell yeah. us something about it. What's it got in it? Being the mechanic, uh, guy, being a redneck Texas style mechanic that you are, I'm sure it's got some kind of hot rod fucking engine. Oh, no, it. it's got a 383 stroker motor uh -huh. in it. 383 stroker. Uh, Does that a, a carburetor? Carb. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Got what it. else, Steve? Uh, pushing out a little bit over 600 horse. 600 horsepower. And in a, in a pickup truck on a 383 stroker. Yeah. What kind of heads you run? Uh, they're at a Brock performer. Now, being a professional mechanic guy that you are, is that true that all the power comes from the heads? No. It's not? And it, heads have a lot to do with it. Uh-huh, with, with your airflow or? With the airflow. Combustion? Combustion. Uh-huh. Well, what really gives you the power and the torque and the, the speed? Lower end. 
lower. So you're talking like what, the crankshaft or yeah, camshaft? The, the block pretty much. Right. Lower now, end. Let me ask you this. Um, what size cam you got going? It's a little what, two steps over an RV cam. I okay. forget exactly the number. Okay, because the RV cam is like one step up from stock. That's for towing capacity. Right. Yeah, that's something you put in if you it's, tow the trailer all the time. Right. Yeah. I want I want so, it pretty much to where I can drive it every day. Uh -huh. And if I want to race somebody, I can race it. Now, let me ask you this, bud. So you got the high performance motor in there. Do you got to do a lot of mechanic work to it to keep it on the road, or does it actually run pretty good? It's a never ending battle. Yeah, it's like a weekend warrior type situation, pretty right? Much. Yeah, kind of like the old Harley riders, you know, weekend warriors. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Work on it all week so you can drive it on Friday. Exactly. Night, and hopefully get some action. Yeah. And work on it all week just yeah. to drive it during the there week. There you go, dude. Weekend. Now, I saw a pickup truck over here. Speaking of pickup trucks, what's going on with this one? This one pretty much did brakes. Uh, he did a good brake job to it. Now, we had that did. baby towed in. A, tow a record truck brought it in. Yes. Why? Uh, well, caliper pretty much locked up and it slung one of the pads and you're telling me the caliper completely locked it up and it was yes. metal to metal and they didn't even take care of their company truck? Well, uh, apparently I guess so. Wow. So you had to put brand new brakes on a brand new truck. That's that's not really common, is it? Uh, that's normal. Yeah. Wear and tear. And then, and then you went up here and I saw you guys hanging over the engine. What were you doing up in here, dude? Did a full tune-up on it. Now when you do a tune-up on one of these trucks, uh, uh, I didn't really realize this, but the coils are actually the spark plug and coil all in one. Right. Yeah. And there's no wires on there's this There's no truck. wires on See, I didn't know that. Kind of like and a Hemi engine. Kind of, sort of, yeah. Yeah, the spark plugs are way down inside the head. Yes. Now, you had a problem and one of the spark plugs, uh, spark plug wires busted off. And uh, no, they're not, they're not, they don't break off. They get a lot of trash and debris down in there oh, to where okay. you can't get the socket on it. And Oh, okay, so that's what was it. wrong with it. Oh, yeah. okay, I see. I thought the boot uh, You got to clean broke. out the... Because what if the boot breaks on the coil? What do you got to do then? Uh, you pretty much got to dig it out with a pick. And then what do you got to do, like buy a new coil? Yeah, a new boot. Uh, are those expensive or...? Uh, the boots ain't too bad, but depending on what motor's in them, man, they yeah. vary on price. Let me ask you a question, Dave. How long are you guys going to be here taking my friend Pete's space up at my friend Pete's time? I'm hoping not long. I'm fucked, dude. Look what we got going here, dude. Look behind you. Okay? I mean, you guys got this place so full of shit, you can't even walk in here. Oh, and it comes right. with automotive, though. Well. Yeah. And you got to have the right tools. To well, do as long as my job. friend Pete's helping you out and you're helping me out, which you're not, but that's okay. Well, eventually okay. we but will. How be. are you helping me, Dave? I don't see nobody calling me we... on the phone saying, hey, take your car to Pete's shop. Take yep. it over there. You're over there sending it to other people's shop, dude. What's going on, Dave? Well, we're going to help you out putting a couple motors in. One of them is that. Oh, a couple? I didn't know I had a couple there. motors here to put in. Okay, well, I know you got the one. Well, the Mustang. One, you're going to have to put that Mustang motor in? And but I gotta get all the front end parts first, Dave. I gotta come up with some cash only to do that. Yeah. yeah. And you guys all... might be gone by then, dude. You might have an easy ride here. You won't have to do nothing. Yeah. yeah. yeah we'll still Making be money, uh, uh, you know, and, and having a guy like my friend Pete to loan you his shop is a good fucking situation, dude. Asking me to do your fucking tailgate on top of that. What the fuck, Dave? I'm not. I will pay for that. Okay, I don't want something expect out. no free My ride. My friend Pete's gonna make sure your tailgate's in good shape. Uh, you might have to do something for me though. That's we'll do a little swap no out. Problem. I don't like no swap problem. outs, Dave. Swap outs don't work out good. Are you guys a swapper gang or you guys uh, do a lot of swapping? No. Yeah. And the Rick. What do you think of swapping out? What do you mean swap? Just swap it out, you know, swap and barter well, you system mentioned trade. you needed the tune-up and yeah. well, on your really. personal truck. Yeah. And I heard it's know, a bitch. I, I heard it's a bitch on them Dodge trucks to change them spark plugs out. Is that true, 16 spark plugs? They are a pain, yes. Yeah. Uh, especially when you need a, a tail, especially when you need a tailgate fixed, it's even more of a pain. <laughs> yeah. no Thanks a lot, Dave. Shake your hand, make a friend. Thank you. Yeah, you go right there, dude. Okay. Is that grease on my hands? All right. They shouldn't have any. Motherfucker, Dave. <laughs> I gotta go, bud. Later.
All right. Take care. We'll probably be talking to you soon, bud. Oh, now, what, what, to what we need out here, when you get an, uh, an unusually hard job that you want to show everybody how to fix it, you let us know. I it's called will. DIY. Do it yourself. Okay? Kind of like, uh, you know, on the plug situation over here, we could have made a nice little DIY video so everybody knew how to change their own plugs out at home, save that money, instead of bringing it to guys like you that they got to pay. Yeah. Am I right? Yep. The only problem that we have, uh, you versus the dealership, you guys are honest, small business guys that don't screw people around and charge reasonable rates, whereas the dealership fucks you in your ass. And also a lot of it is taking pride in what you do. Exactly, because I, I know you bust your ass. Pride. I mean, let's look at it in reality here. Um, you don't even work with a creep. I mean, you work with a creeper, not a fucking lift, Dave. Yeah. Ninety-nine uh, percent of your work is on the, on your back down here on your creeper, dude. Old school. Yeah. Matter of fact, I've known Rick for many, many years, and I've never known him. I think he had one shop that had a lift. Uh, yeah, and I wasn't there for that. Because you one. guys, now, how long were you guys over there at uh, the record shop? Uh, Rick has been there for probably about 15 years. About oh, 15 have, years, and I never knew him to have a fucking lift, dude. He always did everything on the ground. Out of the 11 years that I've been with him, I have never had a lift. As a matter of fact, long. even outside, you guys be working on cars outside on the gravel, dude. We, yep. <laughs> so now yeah, I know why you said. Sucks. Now I know why you told me yesterday. Yeah, I kind of like your operation here, Pete. <laughs> nice and clean and, and concrete floors. Oh, you got a uh, very nice setup. You got to go, Dave. Take it easy. Buddy. All right, later. Keep my shop clean. No uh, grease on the will. floors. If you change oils, you better get rid of it somewhere else. Do not pour oil in the back of my shop, bud. No, hell no. You fucking ain't right. <laughs> you don't need no. nobody coming over here snooping around. See you later, bud. Later, y'all. Speaking All right, so what the fuck's going on? Hold on a minute. What's up, Dave? What's going on, Dave? Where is your oil drum? My oil drum? Yeah. Well, I don't change oils here. Why would I have an oil drum? Okay. Uh, you no. better bring it some goes to O'Reilly. Bring your own oil drum it and have a truck to O'Reilly. Thank you, Dave. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Anything care, else? Anything else, Dave? Nope. Okay. Rick's Customs. Is it called Rick's Custom Rick's Auto Repair? Rick's Custom Automotive. Okay, how can we get a hold of Rick if we live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area? Uh, phone number is 972-245-4622. There you go. And if, they, if, they, if he's not here, talk to Dave, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, Dave will shake your hand and make a friend to anybody out there. We'll take care All right. of you. All right, you're famous, bud. You're on YouTube now. Cool. Okay, I got to go, Dave. I got to get to work, Dave. Peace. All right, keep my fucking shop clean, Dave. I will. Let's not become part of the clown act. I don't want to piss nobody off. Yeah, we don't want to become part of the clown act over here, okay? No, you're not. What's your fucking area code, anyway? Uh, my personal area? Yeah. 75287. Your, your area code, not phone number. That is my area code. Okay. Okay, that's your zip code, Dave. Okay. Oh, I, what? You, you can't be clown number seven five two eight seven. Okay. What's your area code to your phone number? Do you have a phone? Nine seven two. Then you're fucking clown nine seven two. Okay. I always do what's right. I never do anything wrong. I'm a robber room doobie, a doobie all day long. Unless you want the long number, we can go 75827. No. All right, see you later. Later. Yeah. Well, there you go. You know, you gotta you gotta give the helping hand when the helping hand needs to be helped. Uh, Dave's a real nice fucking guy. You can't ask for a nicer guy. Nice and quiet. He doesn't get loud. And he works his fucking ass off. I'm sure you can tell that just by what you saw. Um, Rick, he ain't here right now. Uh, one of these days, we'll get a little video with Rick while they're here. How long are they going to be at my friend Pete's shop? I'm thinking approximately a month, maybe a month and a half. You know, the situation is you'd like to help people out when you can help them out. Um, I've known Rick for about 30 years. Real nice fucking guy. Honest Joe. Okay, come on over here, Dave. No, come on. That's all right. Dave wants to... Okay, come on over here, Dave. Here. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put... <laughs> we'll put this over here, bud. All right, come on. Before your boss... Look, your boss is pulling in. All right, come on over here, Dave. Here you go. Maybe he's got a part for it. Okay, all right. 
All right, so if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and you're looking for some honest to goodness mechanic work that's guaranteed 100% just by the work they do, am I right? Okay, give Rick a call, talk to Dave, he'll answer the phone, he'll shake your hand and make a friend, tell him that my friend Pete sent you. How's that, dude? Sounds good. All right, you need to start sending me yep. some fucking work. I will. Okay. I will. You better. I promise. Okay. I will. All right. I will. I want to see some collision jobs up here, Dave. All right. And I don't want to have to put money in people's fucking pockets to get them, Dave. Hell no. Friend takes care of a friend. Okay, Dave. We'll see you later. All right. So, uh, Clown972 or 75817 or whatever the fuck we're going to call him is over there working, working his ass off with Rick over at Rick's Customs and uh, doing a pretty good fucking job. He's the one that does all the mechanic work for me. He's a great fucking guy. And uh, enough advertisement. I'm just hoping that these guys get their shit together so I can have my shop back.